Excellencies and distinguished participants, you have the power to make decisions that can alter the course of human history. Please use this power forcefully and wisely. The fate of future generations sits in this room here today. And this is no exaggeration. COVID-19 school closures abruptly halted the education of approximately 250 million students in sub-Saharan Africa, adding to the 100 million out-of-school children before the pandemic. Millions are unlikely to ever return to the classroom. It is imperative that we rescue these 350 million children and ensure that they are able to enjoy their right to a quality education. As many countries have had to move education online, the pre-existing learning crisis is now exacerbated by the digital divide. I speak to you today as a former Minister of Education of Mozambique and also as a mother and grandmother. My children and grandchildren here in Africa are on the darker side of this digital divide. There's no meaningful recovery from COVID from any of us without a revamp of our education systems into more innovative, creative, fit for purpose platforms for learning. The expansion of ICT infrastructure and the digital teaching and learning are critical to accelerate progress towards SDG4. Increased investment in development of teacher capacities are imperative. National incentive policies and innovative teacher training programs aimed at increasing the number of qualified and motivated teachers must to be developed to and implemented swiftly. Technologies are evolving at a rapid pace, and we therefore have to strengthen science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. And while I emphasize girls' education, I will add that we must step up the fight against forced marriages, early pregnancies, sexual abuse, and violence in schools. All girls must be brought into the formal education system and retained in school until completion of at least secondary education and best higher education. As I close, I do so alongside my strong support for us to be bold enough today to adopt the Paris Declaration. I encourage its adoption alongside the fresh commitments, not the recycling of old unmet promises, but robust commitments by national and international leaders to invest aggressively in education, both domestically and internationally, and to galvanize strong policy measures with accountability mechanisms to accelerate the progress toward the SDG 4 Education 2030 Agenda. We have a sacred obligation to set our children up for success. Let us not fall short of our responsibilities to give our youngest generation an education of excellence they deserve. I thank you.